in order to get through the fanatic, I had to drink my favorite beer. No matter your business, peanut butter porter. Oh boy. So this movie follows John Travolta as Moose. And Moose is a mentally challenged person. And he is a movie fanatic. Huge movie fan and he loves collecting autographs from famous actors. One day his, fam his favorite actor is in town and he's waiting in line to get, it, to get an autograph. And then right when he's about to get the autograph, the actor gets pulled away, away and he get, has to go to an emergency. This irritates Moose to no end. And so Moose does what he has to do to get this autograph. So he starts stalking him. And he eventually breaks into his house and does some really bad things. And that's where I'm going to leave it. Because normally on a terrible movie, I wouldn't recommend that you actually see it. But The Fanatic, I actually recommend that you go see it. Even though this movie is straight trash. So this movie makes no sense. The dialogue is cringe. Literally, the first line of dialogue in this movie is from John Travolta. And it's, I have to poo. I'm not kidding. I have to poo is the first line in this movie. It's absurd. And this movie has random, like, voiceovers that make no sense. There's no character development. Characters are just thrown in there. And every single character is dumb. They're stupid. They make no sense. They don't need to be here. And so there's no backstory to Moose either. He's just here. There's no story to this at all as opposed to just... Hey, I want your autograph, so give it to me. This movie makes all the wrong choices. Oh, yeah, and it's directed by Fred Durst. That's right, Fred Durst from Limp Biscuit, And he, of course, has to throw in some of his songs in there and say how good Limp Biscuit is. <laughs> the Fanatic gets two beards out of ten.